welcome to my channel, Random Annie's channel. If uh, you are new here, I appreciate you coming in and checking out my video. And if uh, you are thinking about subscribing or haven't subscribed yet and want to check out my content, please do. It'll be greatly appreciated. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to click that bell to be notified of future videos. And if uh, you are a returning subscriber, I greatly appreciate you being here even more because it uh, says so much about you wanting to see more of my content and uh, the content has kept you here. It's greatly appreciated. I thank you so much. Let's get into my video of movies that rip off other movies or movies that are similar to each other. First up is Star Wars. Um, George Lucas got inspired by another movie about this. And I'm sure you guys probably have never seen it, but it is called Hidden Fortress. Um, it's by Akira Kurosawa. Um, you got uh, Japanese pheasants, Masheda and Terry try and fall to make a profit from a tribal war, then find a man and woman who they believe are simply tribe members hiding in a fortress. There's a couple characters in here where... Um, that are like uh, R2-D2 and C-3PO. And uh, the similarities are pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, if you, go, if you go and check it out, it's actually really crazy, the similarities. And I've actually seen both movies. And I can see why he got George Lucas got inspired by um, uh, Hidden Fortress. Up next is uh, The Hunger Games. There is... This movie is about a, uh, about, it's about a, uh, game of, uh, of events where people try to, uh, kill each other for sport and, uh, be the first one, al be the last one alive. And, uh, the movie that, uh, they ripped off or the woman who wrote the book ripped off is from a movie called Battle Royale from 2000. It's a Japanese film. It's, uh about the future where the Japanese government captures a class of ninth grade students and forces them to kill each other under the revolutionary Battle Royale Act. These movies are pretty much the same. It's uh, But if I had to choose one or the other, I'd go with Battle Royale. They are... Cr it's crazy, the similarities. And then up next is... A movie that came out the same year the other movie came out, White House Down. I actually saw this movie before the other movie, and uh, the other movie is called Olympus Has Fallen. I actually like Olympus Has Fallen better than a White House Down, but both movies being about the president uh, and the White House being taken over by terrorists and all that kind of stuff. Um, Olympus Has Fallen is like a hard R rating. White House Down is PG-13. I like both, but if I had to choose... Olympus Has Fallen is the better of the two. It's pretty incredible and great. Up next is two films called The Truman Show and Ed TV. Um, I believe Ed TV came out first. Actually, no. The Truman Show came out first. Basically about a guy whose life is uh, shown through television and he doesn't even know it and whatever. And the music is incredible. It's beautiful. Jim Carrey is incredible. But Ed TV, it's directed by Ron Howard and stars Matthew McConaughey. A video clerk uh, uh, agrees to his life filmed by a camera crew for a TV network. It's pretty crazy. So they're almost similar to each other. One guy doesn't know. The other guy does know. And it's just crazy that how close these movies came out close to each other and how similar they are. But for me, ATV is just boring in my opinion, and the Truman Show is just an absolute masterpiece. So the Truman Show gets it for me. And then we have two similar movies. Um, say it's kind of an animated remake, but we have Chicken Run and The Great Escape. The Great Escape about uh, prisoners of war uh, figuring out how to escape from the prison. And Chicken Run, <laughs> basically being about chickens uh, wanting to escape from being uh, eaten. And so they try to escape from the uh, chicken farm. 
And they also learn how to fly from a chicken who they saw fly, voiced by Mel Gibson. It's pretty hilarious with these two movies being uh, almost similar to each other. And if I had to prefer which or the other, I prefer The Great Escape, but both of them are hilarious. Chicken Run is pretty nostalgia for me, but The Great Escape, absolute masterpiece. And then up next is The Untouchables. This one is a little odd in this list. Um... Because it's not exactly a ripoff of theirs, but the one scene, the stair scene, with the uh, child in the uh, ba- uh, with the child in the basket, um, as it's going down the stairs in the uh, fight, it kind of rips off the scene of the stair scene from Battleship Potemkin from 1925. Um, it's like a homage. I shouldn't say it's a ripoff. It's more of a homage. It's they're pretty great. It's uh, Battleship, the movie, on the Touchables movie, both good. The scenes, pretty great both, and uh, I love the homage to it. And then up next is The Incredibles. What could this movie be technically a ripoff of? Fantastic Four. But The Incredibles is better. Why? Because so far we have yet to get a good Fantastic Four movie. The Incredibles... This is the Fantastic Four movie that we need. And then we have what is next is Taxi Driver. Taxi Driver? Will you say it's a ripoff? Nah. It's kind of a modern retelling of The Searchers. It's very interesting. John Wayne, Robert De Niro, he has a taxi. John Wayne has a horse. They both, it's a both about a story of uh, them going to, after this woman, and to uh, get this w- girl back to safety and all that kind of stuff. The di- big difference is, is Taxi Driver deals about um, mental health and all that kind of stuff. The Searcher doesn't, it's a western, but the two movies are awfully similar. It's If you've seen them, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, go check them out. They're pretty great. And then up next is... Avatar, and I'm sure we all know it kind of is a ripoff of the story of Pocahontas, but it's more of a ripoff of the movie Dances with Wolves because both of them have the similar story where in Dances with Wolves, Kevin Costner's character is in a new la- type of land. He's exploring it. He's getting to know the land. He gets goes off with these Indians and whatever and learns their ways and falls in love and then <laughs> Sound like Avatar, where uh, the char- Sam Worthington's character is on a new planet, and they have to infiltrate these uh, Indian-like characters, and he falls in love, <laughs> all that kind of stuff. Very similar. And then we have A Bug's Life. What is this a ripoff of? You could say, well, I'm not going to say Ants. Ants and A Bug's Life are two movies that are similar to each other. But A Bug's Life takes so much inspiration of the similar storyline with Seven Samurai. Basically about, uh, with A Bug's Life, it's about ants needing help from uh, grasshoppers who are uh, have them hostage and whatever for food. Where Seven Samurai, it's about Seven Samurai coming to help this village who is being terrorized and all that kind of stuff. If you watch both movies, they're eerily similar, and it's I love both, but Seven Samurai takes the cake out of the two. And then up next is Black Swan. Um, this is kind of probably a weird choice for me, but um, I've not seen the other film, but I hear it's, uh, I hear it's a great film, but with Perfect Blue... It's apparently, an, which is a Perfect Blue, which is an anime. They're both very similar. Uh, and with the synopsis for a Perfect Blue, a retired pop singer turned actress senses a reality is shaken when she is stalked by an obsessed and seemingly a ghost of her past. So basically, Black Swan, a journey through the psyche of a young ballerina whose starring role as the duplications swan queen turns out to be a part for which she becomes frighteningly perfect. Oh my word. Black Swan makes me want to watch this movie called Perfect Blue. And the final two movies in this list, and uh, if I missed any uh, movies in this uh, uh, 
category. Um, put down in the comments uh, below what you think are movies that are kind of ripoffs or kind of similar in the same. Um, but Disturbia. Sheila LaBeouf's Disturbia. Basically a kid who uh, he's under house arrest and uh, he basically looks at his neighbors through binoculars and whatever because he's bored and all that kind of stuff. This movie is basically a remake slash ripoff of one of my my personal favorite movie of all time, Rear Window of a man, about a man who has broken his leg and is uh, basically house ridden and uh, for a while, and he basically looks through his uh, camera at his neighbors, and so you get Rear Window and Disturbia, similar movies. Disturbia, it's fine for what it is, but Rear Window. My absolutely favorite film of all time. It's a masterpiece. Highly recommend you go watch Rear Window. It is amazing. And that was my video of movies that rip off other movies. I appreciate you guys being here. If you are new here, I want to reiterate what I said earlier. Go and uh, check out my channel if you, uh, you thought this was worth subscribing to. And uh, if uh, you do subscribe, don't forget to click that bell and uh, if you are a returning subscriber, I greatly appreciate you. Stay random, guys.